and this video i'm going to show you guys a repricing tools that you can use inside of your facebook marketplace account and be able to automate the process for your business stay tuned hey, i work hard every mother day yeah, yeah, yeah. yo what is up you guys welcome back to the millionaire mindset youtube channel so there is a new software on the market well, not a new software, but a new feature. So um, SkewGrid has released a repricing tool. Basically what it does is it can reprice your item inside of your Facebook Marketplace account once the prices change on your supplier's website. But it works um, based on how much you had the profit margin set up as in the back end with SkewGrid. So, and it also check for in and out of stock. So if your item goes out of stock on to your Facebook Marketplace account, they will put it as out of stock. And once it goes back in stock, they will put your item back in stock inside of your Facebook Marketplace. Now, with this software, you don't have to do the job manually. You don't have to delist and relist in the item just so you can change the price or um, put it as out of stock. SkewGrid is actually doing everything for you in the back end. You know, a couple of months ago, the way I used to do it, I just put the item inside of SkewGrid and let SkewGrid track just the inventory to make sure that once it goes as out of stock, they could let me know in my email and then I would just go on my Facebook Marketplace account and do that manually. But now they can literally do all the work for you. Like they can actually integrate um, inside of your Facebook Marketplace account and be able to kind of automated i would say it's like a semi-automated but not fully automated so i'm going to show you guys how to actually set up everything in the back end i do want to say that i am fully committed to share everything that i know about e-commerce here on this channel my goal is to build a community of successful entrepreneurs so if you'd like to be part of the community I suggest you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any of my latest. And while you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you appreciate the value that I give out to you guys. And without further ado, let's get into the process. So here we are inside of SkewGrid and SkewGrid is a very, very large platform. They work with many different marketplaces. I only use them for my eBay dropshipping and my Facebook marketplace dropshipping. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see the monthly subscription. Um, you can go with the $15 a month if you want, but they monitor up to 200 items for you. And this is the current plan that I'm on at the moment they monitor up to 800 items for you on a monthly basis and uh, yeah they're pretty basic you know they're not to me it's very cheap based on how much it can do for you inside of your business and once you logged inside of the dashboard here and then you just want to go over to where it says setting then you go to marketplace and then right here where it says facebook marketplace already connected now if there wasn't if you don't have any marketplace connected you just have to click connect new marketplace and then you scroll down to uh, facebook marketplace us if you're in uk you select facebook marketplace uk if you're in italy philippines wherever you at if you have marketplace available in um, your country you just have to select it and then you click save um why did i just save a random marketplace right now uh, i just take it out later after you have facebook marketplace connected you want to go to where it says uh price and razor and this is where you want to actually put your profit margin so basically right here where it says profit margin if you're looking to have i don't know 30 to 40 percent um, you can just put the percentage of profit margin you're looking to make. So here I just put 35 and you don't worry about any of these other columns over here because you're not using it for eBay. Now you want to worry about this one that says Facebook, Facebook Marketplace Fees and you just put the 5% here and then you select that and then you close and apply. Now you just have to go to the Chrome extension web store and then right over here you type in um, Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace Repricing and then you click on it and then you just add it to your Chrome right here. Me, I already have it, that's why it says that. So it's right up here. 
Um, once you after you add it to your Qualm, you would have to connect it with your actual SKU grid account. So right here where it says setting and it's asking you for remote key, you go back on SKU grid and then you go to remote APL. And then you get that remote key right here. You copy it. Home extension right here. And then you paste it right in here. And then you just click save. Now before you click save, you're gonna make sure that you have it checked. You have it set as you want. Some people have it for one day, some people have it for uh, every 10 minutes. Me, I have it for every 30 minutes. So basically every 30 minutes, um, SkewGrid is actually checking in with my supplier to see if there's any changes such as um, the price changes or the item stocks. And they will actually upload all of that inside of my Facebook Marketplace account. And then you just save that. By far, as far as I know, I think that you would have to actually integrate every single one of your items to your Facebook marketplace one by one inside of SKU grid. So I don't think there's a button where you can actually move all of your items from your Facebook marketplace account inside of your SKU grid. So you'd have to do all of them one by one. And now keep in mind that um, it's, not it's not available for the listing of features. You can only do it with the repricing. What that basically means is, so let's say you were to be um, actually tracking an item from Home Depot. So the way you would do it, you would just copy, you copy the link. What's going on? You copy the link here, and then you come on, you come over here onto SKU Grid, click Add Item. Um, you paste the link in here. Then you just Facebook Marketplace and if the item has variation you search for the variation or anything like that and you just want to click on I have item listed and then you select the marketplace which is Facebook Marketplace and then you put the item ID so how do you get the item ID you would have to already have this item inside of your Facebook Marketplace now I know that this is not the same item here but it's just as a an example the item ID should be here on the product page onto your Facebook marketplace you get that item ID and then you paste it in here and then you just click Save and then now see this item is out of stock and SKU grid will actually put it as out of stock onto your Facebook marketplace and if the price were to change they will also changes the price at the exact profit margin that you had set up in the back end SKU grid and it's that simple you know um, i already have my va actually trying to integrate all of these um, item one by one like i said i don't i don't know if this feature is available where you can just bulk upload it all this item back into SKU grid and um, I don't know if that's available, but as far as I know, I think you would have to connect every single one of those items one by one, get the get the item ID from your Facebook Marketplace account, and then come over here and put it back inside of your SKU grid, so they can actually track it and match it, so you can uh, so they can do all the work for you and the back end. So with that being said, if you guys did learn something new from this video, please give this video a thumbs up once again and subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any questions related to how SKU Grid works, um, you can reach out to me on Instagram. Link to my Instagram will be down in the description. Any other dropshipping videos you want to know more about, you can recommend in the comments below and I will try to bring it out as soon as I can. Now, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.